Hello, and welcome. It has been an age since I have streamed. I didn't realize that it had been so long, but it's... I missed, uh, we missed Brick by Brick on Monday, and, like, all of my, my Twitch VODs are facing deletion at this point. I only have one left, and it's set to expire in a couple days, which means it's, like, two weeks old. So it's been a while. It's been a hot minute since I've been here. But now it's August 1st. It is like the hottest day of the week of all days for me to decide to, to ramp my computer usage up even higher. Let's just, let's get nuts. Oh well. 
It is also very smoky outside, so I have all the windows closed, naturally. If I did not have air conditioning, I would probably be dying right about now. But hey. I'm not dying. So let's 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 play some video games. Uh it has it has also been a hot minute since I played Legend of Mana. Uh the last time we played I thought I soft locked myself. Um turns out I did not. I am just an idiot who I yeah, uh, it turns out that there was just a part of the map that I didn't go to because I didn't think I could. But it it wasn't clear and I forgot about it. So I am just I am just dumb. But we're going to work on fixing that today. We've got a bunch of quests kind of in progress in the game already, so we're going to try and wrap some of those up now that we can. And we'll We'll see where we go. Yeah. Get my controller and we will get get going. Um, what else happened? Oh, we got a, a new pet. Oh, this probably isn't set to capture properly. But it is now. We got a new pet last time, which was a a earth dragon. Who I have named Zilla. Because he kind of looks like Godzilla. Oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I was doing some grinding last time. So my settings are... My settings are incorrect. I was trying to grind levels for, for Zilla as much as I could, so I, I ended up turning off encounters while I was running in between places. There he is. He's so excited. So there's Zilla, he's a land dragon, he's level 6. Um, he's got a lot of health, and he does a decent amount of damage. I was actually spending the time like researching what items to feed him to try and boost his stats as much as possible so he's got lots of endurance and lots of power i believe and maybe intelligence as well lots of constitution lots of mind and power so he's a tough boy tough boy our cactus is missing is unfortunate. That is an entirely different quest line uh, that has to do with Bud is our, our our apprentice Bud is currently ill. So we got to find a, a cure for him, which is related to why our cactus is gone. But before we can do that. We got some other stuff to do. Oh, did I catch any new... I think I might have some new pets. No, they're all about the same. We got this thing. And the bat. And ball. It's all the same. Let's go. So we got all kinds of stuff going on here. I also have this now, the golden seed, as an artifact. I don't remember what it does, but I have it. All right, 
so before anything else, we gotta go to Lumina. There was a quest line here in Lumina that I thought we were like somehow soft locked out of. Because good old Capella and Diddle are playing over here for all the dud bears. Which is not how I remember it. Because there's a different quest line to do here, but. And for the longest time, I ran around this city trying to figure out where to go. But it turns out I am just dumb, because you can just go back here. That goes to the, the Moon Alley. And if you... Well, if you go over here, we can talk to Gilbert. Oh, Monique, your eyes sparkle like the stars above. Yet you slip away from me like mist on a spring morning. He is a centaur bard. But the other thing that's back here is this lamp store. I'm Monique, and this is my lamp shop. Business has been slow today, but if I could just sell six more lamps... Oh, maybe I should close my shop and move to another town. Oh no, my love. You mustn't say such crazy things. Are you saying that you're leaving your poet of love, your Gilbert? I can't live without you by my side as I gaze up at the starry sky. <laughs> Let me just get out of the way. <laughs> but if I don't sell my lamps, I'll starve. In that case, I may have an idea, my sweetling. I'll sell the six lamps for you. Well, that's very nice of you. Wait for me right there, my darling. Here begins our beautiful love story. Gilbert is such a nice person. He's a little weird, though. Anything else back here? Alright. Hey, Gilbert. Oh, you there, the Traveler. Take these. You wouldn't leave my dearest Monique in distress like that, would you? Let's go sell those six lamps for her. I'll buy my share of the lamps, but you should go sell yours. They cost 1,000 lucre each. Of course, you can always buy them yourself. So we can buy them, we can go sell them, or we can tell Gilbert to shove off. We'll go sell them. What a good sport. So willing to help my struggling sweetheart. Did I actually... I didn't have enough money to actually buy them. Okay. So... Now we've got these lamps that we need to sell. But the only people that we can sell them to... Are these dud bears? Dub. There's a f sparkling down here. The cow isn't anywhere. He's inside my mind. Okay. Note to self: Stop talking to sparklings. The dud bears are regulars here, so I've picked up their language. I can teach you a few words if you'd like. Teach me. First is dub. This is a greeting, but it also means yes. Dud means no, and also goodbye. Duba is you, and Duda is me. Dubba means friends. Boo boo means dud bear, and goo goo is used for all other creatures. Da means light and stars, and ba means night. Dada is lamp. Duba Baba means many or very, and Du stands for little. Baba means music. They sure do love music. Dada means please, and Gak is used to show displeasure. Say bub. Say bub when you don't understand. For example, if you wanted to sell a lamp, you say dada dada. Duba dub. Dub. Haha, <laughs> very good with say. All right. We've got the crux of this quest line. We need to sell lamps to dud bears and speak their crazy language. Do da boo boo. Do ba boo boo. 
I've, I have already forgotten. Dub. Gak. He is unimpressed. Dub. Dub. Okay, so we can't sell it to all of them. I think it's just these ones that are wandering around. Ba ba ba, da ba ba. Da 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 da. Gak gak. He does not want a lamp. Very much so. To sell, we, we may have to buy some of these lamps. Okay. So I think if you, they they can be reset, so we can sell to them again. Do da boo boo, do ba boo boo. God, I don't remember what any of that means. No. Do da da ba. Do da. Da ba. Yes. Do ba. Do ba 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 da da. Want to buy a lamp? Gak. Okay. I need to. I need to learn the Dudbear language again. Teach me. Okay, dub is yes. Also a greeting. Dud means no and goodbye. Duba is you. Duda is me. Okay. Dubba means friends. Boo boo means dud bear. Goo goo is used for all other creatures. Da means light and stars. Ba means night. Dada is lamp. Dubaba ba means many or very and do stands for little. Baba means music. It's for love music. Dada means please. And Gak is just show displeasure. Say bub when you don't understand. Yeah. Okay. You there. Uh, okay, so no. Yes. Duba do ba 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 da dub. Yes. Duba do da dub a dub. So you, me, friends. Yes. Yes. Dub. Wanna buy a lamp? Yay. Dub. We sold a lamp to a weird bear creature. Speak an incomprehensible language. Capella, move. I have to sell a lamp to this bear. Da baba, da baba. Oh, sorry, ba 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 da baba. No. Gak gak. Okay. Can I reset him if I talk to Capella? No. Okay. Go we'll talk to the other dead bear. There's three dead bears you can sell the lamps to. Two are in that little region, and there's one more over here. Duda Gak Duba. He doesn't like me. No. Duba Gak Boo Boo. I don't. He's saying, I don't like dud bears. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of true, but it's not really true. Boo Boo. 
Yes. Duba duda dub a dub. You me friends, yes. Yes. Dub. Wanna buy a lamp? Dub. Enjoy the lamp. Stop talking about the cow. You weird little sprout line. Hello, move. Okay. Baba -ba 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 -ba. I still don't know what that means. No. Gak gak. Okay. They really just shoved Capella and Diddle in the most obnoxious place possible, didn't they? Okay, yes. Duba is you, Duda is me, Duba means friends, Gugu means dead bear, Gugu is used for all other creatures, Da means light stars, Ba means night, Dada is lamp, Baba is music. Okay. I understand. Come on, Capella, get out of the way. Okay, so he's saying... Light music, something music. Yes. Wadaba? Yes. Dubadaba? You friend? Yes. You me friends, yes? Yes. Dub. Wanna buy a lamp? I sold all the lamps. Enjoy your lamp. Creepy bear thing. No, don't exit. Now we go talk to Monique. Maybe we talk to Gilbert first. Hey, Gilbert, I sold all the lamps. You sold them all. What talents you have. Sweet Monique, it's time to open your heart to me. Come with me, traveler. I'll show you what true love is. All right. Good news, my strawberry. We sold all six of your lamps. Oh my, that's wonderful. You put your heart into making them my sweetness. Of course they sold. You know, I think I'll keep my little shop open after all. Oh, darling, you mustn't continue as a lamp maker. I need you to be the sunlight that brightens my world. Come, my love. Let's go out to feel the stardust showering down on us. I feel as though the world was created so this very day might happen. I was just thinking about getting a little fresh air. I've been cooped up in here for six days straight working on my lamps. Oh. I was not expecting her to fly. I guess. Monique, I have a dream I wish to tell you, if you'd care to listen. Of course, Gilbert. Perhaps I can tell you my dreams in return. Monique, you could easily sell your lamps to any old passerby. And a few fans of my lamps come from afar just to buy them. You should have some dud bears do the dirty, messy work of making them. I quite enjoy the time and effort I put into making each one. We could even commission a famous designer to make us a masterpiece. It's fun to gather the odds and ends to make unique lamps. That's all we'll do. We'll be rich before we know it. The money isn't great, but the joy I get out of my work is what I live for. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, y'all aren't on the same page here. <laughs> Don't you have dreams, Monique? I feel sorry for you if not. Every day is like a dream come true to me. But when I'm with you, I feel like I can't be myself. Come, my princess. It's time to go out and see the world. Are my dreams not good enough for you? Yeah! Get it, Monique. My nightly dreams 
my hopeful dreams. You might not see them, but they're real to me. Monique, our dreams don't seem to play in perfect harmony. I must leave this town to look for a new love. Wow, I forgot how much... I forgot how much of an asshole Gilbert is. Oh. I came to that conclusion rather quickly. After I recover from this heartbreak, I too shall find a new love. Farewell, my dearest. I shall never forget you. Goodbye, Gilbert. Goodbye. Or as the dud bears say, dud. Oh, Monique has got the weird bird feet, too. <laughs> hey, girl. Gilbert was a little strange, but he was a nice guy deep down. He wanted a much bigger lamp than the, one, than the little ones I have. But it's not the size of the lamp that's important. All that matters is that it works, right? Damn. Truth be told, this breakup has me down. Oh. Dub. What was that? Oh god, we've started something. Do a da da dub. Do ba 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 dub. Oh my. Da bab dabu. Dub dub. Do bab. Dub 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 dub. Really? You think so? Dada. Not at all. I'm the one who should be thanking you. so creepy. The dead bears said that they really love my lamps. This is why I love this job. I've never been happier. Here, take this. The Trembling Spoon. That is the artifact that we so desperately needed last time. Anyway, there's Gilbert. What a jerk. Um, well, it is at this point that I would say we go home and tell our cactus, but our cactus is currently gone. I do want to check on our orchard, though, because I, the last time I played this game was like more than a week ago, so I don't remember what we've got going on here. Well, we got some things. Got a citrus squid. I don't think this is ripe yet. Oh, it is. A loquat shoe. And that pumpkin is not ready yet. We'll come back. So, I think before anything else, I would like to get my cactus back. Uh, which one is that? I guess I can just look it up. Well, we do need to put our trembling spoon down. Okay, so the trembling spoon gives the plus two darkness, plus two fire. So... Lumina is already maxed out for both of those things, so that doesn't help much. Um, I could go, yeah, next to the mines. That's pretty good. 
What's next to the mines, you ask? Nothing too special. Just, you know, the underworld. <laughs> okay, but before we go there, I have to get a bearing on which quests we've got active right now. Because I can't remember which quest it is that our cactus is currently missing. Oh, it's just called Lil' Cactus. Fair enough. So there's another location that we don't have yet that we need to get first. Let's, I guess let's do a different quest. We'll go talk to one of the seven wisdoms. We ha we've met him already, but we didn't really spend a whole lot of time with him. There he is. The earth teaches us of the cosmos and all its ancient memories. When the grass sprouts and the stones sing, light illuminates the earth. The light sparkles on the feathers of the birds of paradise. Break loose from the shackles of time. I know what freedom is. It's Pokiel. I like him. He is a storyteller. Anyway. So, this is... We've entered a dream sequence in which... There is this character. This is Escad, who we, I think we only met once, like once or twice. But this is a young version of him. I take it you're not another demon. I'm looking for Erwin. But only, not only has he got demon's blood in him, his thoughts, his actions, everything about him is demonic. I've got to do something about him before it's too late. Because eventually he will bring catastrophe to this world. Matilda, you're such a fool. He tricked you into leaving the temple. Escad. Escad is probably the most anime character in the game. He might be tied with, like, uh, what's his name? Elazel. We haven't seen Elazel in a while. Elazel and Pearl. Hey, Bobio. Are you in a hurry? No. Very well, then. I feel like that would teleport me back to the entrance or something. Experience. He's so slow. In trying to level Zilla up, I have reached like level 30 myself. Which is ridiculous. I'm way over leveled. Uh, 
That's safe. We'll save within a dream sequence. Turns out you do have to talk to Pokiel and tell him that you're in a hurry. Gotta murder these moles. I'll do it in the most efficient way that I know how. Get the experience. It's so difficult just to get these monsters to gain levels. Are you in a hurry? Yes, I am. This way. I I can't breathe. I see gas spewing out here. It must be enough. It must be tough going for you and Esked. I wonder if the entrance tunnel is still holding up. Who knows? Let's rest a little before we go further. I guess that was young Matilda. Like, the, the hitching is... Like, this is the game that's dropping frames. I don't know what's going on. That room was... bad. Yeti. Get out of here. Come on. Get the experience, you stupid lizard. How much more does he need? A lot. Okay. Uh, alright. Keep hitting a different monster on that last attack. Well, he got one. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm tiny. Experience should be worth more when I'm small. Jump kick. Is this the correct way? Ah, it is. This seems like a good spot to rest. You ever sit down so hard that it creates a dust cloud? I wonder why Esket hates you so much. Is the only reason because you're a demon? What was that? I hope it wasn't the entrance. I fear it was. I guess the supports were just too old. This was really fun, to begin with. It's the first time I ever left the temple of my own will. 
but I can't take it anymore. I'm frightened. The spirits that protected your ancestors protect you too. Even if I die here, you'll survive. I won't become a priestess, because priestesses aren't allowed to be friends with demons. I'm not your friend. I just want to eat you up like all demons do. You're lying. Erwin, I want to go to the underworld. Adults are always telling us what to do and where to go. I don't like this darkness. Summon your elemental spirit. Perhaps it knows a way out of here. But I don't want to go back. You have to live. But if you hate this world so much, I'll destroy it for you. We should have the freedom to use our power in any way we want. Ixhos velas il akin. Your powers are mine now, spirit. Matilda! Demon! What did you do to her? Oh. oh. Hey, Askad. I see you've regained consciousness, Para. Hi. Whose side are you on? Are you with me, fighting for justice? Or with Dana, aiding demons and making mankind your enemy? I mean, Dana's a cool cat girl. Sorry, Asgard, you're kind of lame. So be it. You must accept the path you've chosen. Now we get to beat the snot out of Asgard. No, Zilla, get away! Ow. Ow. Stop it. Stop. Oh no. Zilla! Attacks do I have? Take that. No. Zilla's dead. But that's okay. <laughs> wow. I, I threw Eskad up into the air. He landed on the ground, unconscious, and then I just stabbed him. <laughs> end. Um, okay, I need to figure out... to figure out how we get a certain thing. I want my cactus back.
Uh, oh wait, I guess we finished a quest, so our tree is probably in full bloom. We can go and pick that. We can grab that pumpkin off the branch and replace it with some new seeds. Come on, controller. Gonna be time for a new controller soon. A bump? Alright, what kind of seeds do we want to give them? Uh, we'll give them... Long seeds and round seeds. Long and round. Just the way I like my seeds. is just someone playing a trick. I can't believe everyone's getting so worked up over it. Ghost? Head over to the hotel in the middle of town. Maybe you'll see the ghost. Ghost? Toma, Imperial Soldier. I am investigating the Imperial ship that sank ten days ago. Okay. Yeah, that left trigger in my controller is breaking down. I guess I can save. Welcome to the Seaside Hotel. Our security is top-notch. Inspector Boyd is on patrol. We look forward to serving you. Oh, did you just see that? I can't take it anymore. Do you know anyone who's not scared of ghosts? I can help. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Ghost hunting. Thanks. There it is. I remember this quest very vividly, too. I remember playing through this one several times when I originally played this game when I was young. Where does Dancer go? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, every time that you leave the, the center hotel room, the ghost appears. And you can watch the little shopkeepers freak out when they see him. That mermaid seemed to know something. Let's go talk to her again. No. He's selling metals, actually. Selling anything good? Mendel silver, laser gold. Ooh. Maybe. I think when I was playing by myself, I bought some gold from him. And, uh built myself. I think I actually have... Yeah, I've got a Baser Spear right now. 
It's made out of that gold. That's why I'm doing such an absurd amount of damage. Well, Toma seemed to maybe know something. What is it? Uh, ask about the ghost. I wonder about the ghost myself. Let's ask about the ship. The ship was heading to this port on the Emperor's secret orders. The weather was fair that day, yet it still sank. It truly is a mystery. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We haven't been to that other section. Oh, hello. This is a fish. Don't get, don't get fresher than me. I'm not like you commoners. Heard about the ship? Go away. I don't like beggars. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Whoa. The ghost is on the bridge. Why, it's Mr. Fish. Is Revanche performing today? Yes, she is. Her dancing is even better than before. Alright, I'll rent the whole hall. Here's 50,000 lucre. Thank you very much. Psst. You know, Revanche she hates that lecherous fish. What can we do? We've lost all our customers since the ghost came. We're trying to squeeze that nouveau rich fish for all he's worth. Business is business. Hell yeah. Eat the rich. Eat the rich. Who also happens to be a fish. Hey, Mr. Fish. <laughs> I've rented the whole place out. This plant is mine. It's disgusting. Right. We can go a different way. Weird. Okay. I leave out the right side of this screen and I arrive through the left side of this screen. There's Inspector Boyd. Inspector Boyd on duty. Is that all you have to say? Any news? What's up with the basket fish? He's been flaunting his wealth after collecting a huge inheritance. I heard it sink. If the weather was clear, maybe it sprang a leak. What's up with the ghost? Ah, the one that haunts the seaside hotel? What nonsense. Well, you sure are thorough. Quite impressive. Is there anything else? What about you? Do you suspect me? Well, I actually came here on assignment. The jewel hunter left a note here. It said she'd steal the blue eye. So if you see anyone with blue eyes, report to me immediately. Wait. Hey, Mr. Fish, what color are your eyes? Kind of purple in your portrait, but I'm gonna assume those are blue. Inspector Boyd, this blue fish has weird blue eyes. Oh, the dancer. The dancer has blue eyes. Oh, Miss Revanche, the hotel dancer? She has gray eyes. No. Oh. Wait, how does he know? If he already knows. If he already knows what color all these people's eyes are... Uh, hi, Gilbert. I can't deal with you right now. I got other stuff going on right now with Gilbert. There's, 
like ghosts and stuff. Although now it's got me thinking about something. A hey, mermaid. Okay, the mermaid has green eyes. Toma is gone. I don't remember what color his eyes were, but I have a sneaking suspicion that he is our main suspect now that he is missing. It's not. I can't really tell what color the dancer's eyes are. I can't get up there. I can't talk to her. Boyd. The soldier has blue eyes. What, the Imperial soldier? Hmm. I'll have to investigate that. Uh, okay, back to the beach. Ugh. Where is he? Toma, where did you go? Yeah. The ghost is just playing a trick. Although, if this is someone just playing a trick, they're pretty good at being a, like, incorporeal. Hey. Yeah, you suck. This soldier go. Toma. Oh. Here you are. I am Toma, Imperial Soldier. Do you have any information regarding the shipwreck? Underestimate the sea at your own risk. Right, right. You may be correct. Beep boop, I am soldier robot. Wait a second. I don't know if this be true, but there be a guy that goes by the name Basketfish. He said he sees everything that happens under the waves. Basket... what? He usually be at the Seaside Hotel, drooling over that dancer. Thanks. I will take a look. Let's talk to Gilbert. Wait, no, Gilbert is currently trapped in a corner. <laughs> Sorry. Basketfish. Hey. This counter is all mine. Haha, <laughs> the whole lounge is mine. Of course, you're mine too. Leave me alone, you creepy fish. Wait. The inspector explicitly said that the dancer, Revenche, has, has gray eyes. That portrait has blue eyes. Wow. Hey. I don't think you are who you say you are. Thanks. <laughs> Alright. Basketfish, huh? What a stupid name. 
You, you, stop. I'm with the police. Here's my car. Inspector Boyd? I've discovered a clue connecting the Imperial ship and the hotel ghost. The Imperial ship and the... the ghost? What do you say? Will you cooperate with my investigation? Hmm. <clears throat> Certainly. Why, thank you, Mr... What was your name? Toma. Right, Mr. Toma. Let's go. Now I remember this quest. This this quest is basically you run around to a bunch of places and watch NPCs kind of interact with each other, which is understandably not for everyone, but I kind of like it. It makes the world feel like it's kind of its own place. Things are happening regardless of the player character. It's kind of nice. I'm busy right now. I am Toma of the Imperial Army. Do you know anything about the shipwreck? I don't know anything. Leave me alone. Say, I heard you're very wealthy. That's pretty amazing. I also heard you had inherited an incredible jewel. May I see it? Mm -mm. I don't know. It's called the Blue Eye, and it shows everything that happens in the ocean. I must see that jewel. It might tell us how the ship... No. I want to see the blue eye, too. All right. Wow. We've received orders from the Emperor to acquire the ultimate firearm. We may find important clues as to its whereabouts in Polpota. We have permission to use force, if necessary. Failure is not an option, then. Yes, sir. Back to your post. Captain Thona. What is it? A sea hag is fast approaching. A sea hag? Shield your ears from its song, men. Oh, no. was a sea hag. I see. So a sea hag sank it. That's terrible. Guaga. The truth as to our deaths. Hand me the blue eye. The blue eye. Alright, I'll give you the eye. Just don't curse me. That was terrifying. I didn't know ghosts could run. It's Vector Boyd on duty. I have a question regarding your large inheritance. My inheritance is gone. Huh? What about the blue eye? Did you not see, Inspector? The ghost came and took it away. What? Ghosts aren't real. Get a grip. Huh? But I thought you were just there. Here? Me? Blast it. It was the jewel hunter again. Dressed as a ghost this time. No. Thank you so much for solving the ghost mystery. Here is the reward I promised. <laughs> Alright. Kind of a weird quest. Also, I guess his name might be pronounced Thoma. But, like, I knew someone who had a name, I mean, I, I I knew someone who was French and had the name Thomas, but it was pronounced Thomas, and that's just the way that I've always read that name. So when I see that, that's, uh, that's just what it is. Okay. So now that we've done that, okay, so we have not done, 
So I think we've done everything that we can for getting our cactus back, except for this stage. Which... Right off the coast of Polpata Harbor. It's the SS Buccaneer. So I believe either last time or the time before we met the pirate penguins. Uh, this is their ship. This might start a different quest. No, it didn't. Oh, wow. I don't have a lot of memories of this area, but this looks a lot better than I remember it. <laughs> like, even with the improved visual. Who are you? Feel the energy of the sea. We be penguins, but we might be turning human. What? What? Ladder way. Right. I think we have to go further down. Hey, a pirate ain't supposed to fall in love, maybe. Little cactus versus steer. He wanted a potion, so I gave him one. I let Amalette take him home, but I don't know if they made it. Whoa. Cactus. There's more to do here, but not, but not right now. How do we get out of here? How do we how do we get off this ship? I don't actually know. Help, how do I leave? I don't care about nothing no more. This is the captain's quarters. Yeah. Hey. I'm Captain Tusk, leader of the pen them there pirate penguins. Well, how do you like the ship? Ain't she a beaut? Aye. Ah. Sounds like you got what it takes to be a man of the sea. I want to become a real dandy man of the sea, like our captain. Then you gotta stop saying those stupid jokes of yours. So if I just stop saying me jokes, I'll be dandy. It'd be more than just jokes. Dandy be a way of life. You'll never understand. Truer words have never been spoken. Help. How? How do I get off this ship? This is where I started. What? The, the wheel is down here? Ain't nothing beats being a man of the sea. Or you be chumpy, I. What direction do you want to go? Uh... So, ain't it great? The sea provides all the food you can need. Oh, ain't it great? Crab legs are delicious. 
Ixt. Ain't it? Oh, I said that already. More east. More east. More east. What lies beyond the horizon? Help. I, I want to escape this. Help. Enemies on deck. Go get rid of them. Okay. You're being attacked by f fish? Ow. Ow, 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 ow. My poor... My poor dragon. what I'm talking about. Get him, Zilla. Good job. Okay. I have been freed from the, the wheelhouse. I still don't actually know how to get off this ship. Gotta be something up here. Also, welcome, Akroma Page. Yes, Sir Box. Well, one Sir Box. Me. Although, my dirty secret is that I've never played Mega Man Legends. save while I'm here. I'll be trapped forever. I can't actually go back. Whoop. You guys have a seahorse just hiding out on your ship. Come on. Get the experience. Come on, Zilla. Get it. sometimes. does. In most JRPGs, an ether will, like, restore your mana. But in this game, there is no mana. Oh, mimics. Oh, nice. All the experience just exploded on top of my pet, so he got it all. Man, you penguins have got some weird monsters on your ship. Monsters with a lot of health. Boy, howdy. These guys give lots of experience. 
This might actually be the next best place for me to grind levels for my pets. It's a nice short, nice small room. I can just run in and out of the entrance. Oh, it's Undyne. Undyne from Undertale. Uh, a spirit of the sea. What do I think a spirit of the sea would like? Like something sorrowful. Let's do the earth drum. Earth drum will do the harmony. Flame flute will do the melody. Let's see. It's interested. We gotta talk to the spirit and it'll give us some coins. What? I just realized that when you talk to the spirits and get their coins, you're basically robbing them. What? I call shenanigans on that one. Oh, it's a monster egg. I, I don't I don't care about the monster eggs. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go with a serene tune. Drum harmony, flute, melody. Go. Okay, let's try a mysterious tune. This time we'll do the melody with the drum and the harmony with flute. Go. can't I I think when it's interested it's like neutral stop playing ah it left some coins undyne silver we just robbed him of water spirit Experience, Zilla. Yeah. Oh, that means I've got to take him back to the feed box and give him some more food now. Other types of dragons you can get. That's a chest back there, but I feel like, yep, that's a mimic. Uh. God, I am so powerful. It is absurd. Fight. This guy's got a lot of health, wow. I always hate it whenever... Whenever I kill an enemy when Zilla is standing on top of it, because all the experience points then explode outward, and it doesn't count as being, like, picked up by him. It's very frustrating. Please. Did 
I actually go through that one? Did I see what was in here? That's just a room. I don't know how to leave. We be penguins, but we might be turning human. Terrifying. What do you have to say? Boom. Oh, he's doing the cannons. I sometimes miss swimming in the sea. I mean, you're a penguin. I would expect that you, you would. all the information that I needed. Okay. I need to actually look this up, how to get off of this ship. I guess I just have to talk to the captain. Again. Because I already talked to him once. Talking to NPCs multiple times to do basic functions. Oh, yeah. You have to tell him that you don't like the ship. And that's how you leave. Look at that tree. Okay, we gotta go to Domina. Okay, so we talked to the penguin who said that they had spotted little cactus. And that the... Someone was taking them home. A name that... I don't know if we've ever heard that character's name before, but... Uh, it's the, the pelican. Whose name I can't remember now, but... So we go all the way back to Domina. And we'll talk to the pelican. Hey, where's where's our cactus? The little cactus hurt me. He hurt me. So sharp in my mouth now. But you know what? Me job is the mail. The mail. Put him in the box and I'm all done. Ugh, all right. We, we jumped through so many hoops to get our cactus back, and it turns out he was in our mailbox. That's the joke. There he is. Hey. I got potion. Little cactus. Got a potion to save our friend Bud. Good job. Now let's go back home so that we can talk to our cactus and tell him everything. We have so many things to tell our cactus about. Hey, Bud is recovered. Hey. No, not yet. Although we can do the Seven Wisdoms quest now. Hmm. So, I know we banked up a few stories. I don't know if we need to actually... 
I think we might be able to just tell him everything at once. Just... Yeah, so that didn't count. But I think it filled in everything. Maybe? Reach for the stars. No, I did that one already. Um... Yeah, little cactus. Finally, I got to go on adventure on my own. Green balls, taco bugs, I will never forget your smiles. I feel like I saved the world today. Just feeling like that is enough for me. I did other quests. Uh, maybe I have to leave the whole area and come back. I hope not, because then that means that like three or four quests in his journal are just never going to be filled in. Which is lame. Oh my god, look at these things. Look at all these lily pods. And a heart mint? Yeah. Give him some seeds. Small seed. Big seed. He's not giving me any more seeds, which is a little troubling. I don't want to have to go and grind seeds. Anyway, Zilla's food box is empty. So we gotta put some stuff in this. Uh, oh god, I forget what everything does. Uh, okay, so I figured out... So meat, if you feed your monster meat, it will just make them do twice. It'll make them do double damage against that type of monster and take less damage from it. That's all it does. It doesn't affect their stats at all. Whereas all of the fruit does. Feed him some lily pods. What else is good? I think pine o'clock is pretty good. I don't remember what any of these things do. Cherry bombs. Yeah. I think the cherry bombs are good. I could look it up, but it's too late now. I'm not really trying to min-max. I don't care that much. If I was really trying to do that, then I would be like... I could build myself a weapon that did, like, 200 damage or something absolutely absurd. I'm going to see if I can talk to Cactus again, if I just return. Because if that's the case, then I will update all of his journal entries off stream. Because there's, there's a few. I hope I'm not just locked out of it forever. Hey. Nope. I think they're just done. I think they're gone forever. I did a bunch of these while Cactus wasn't here. And uh, they're not here anymore. Or maybe they are? Two torches. Diddle's letter. Hunt and Ducat. Ducate. I did do that one while he wasn't here. Find your own business. 
flame of hope. Some of them. No, I'm definitely missing some of these. Yeah. Because I don't have the, uh, the lamp quest that I did at the beginning of the stream with the dud bears. It's not here. It means it's gone forever. It is not going to be in Cactus's journal, which is incredibly upsetting. Because I had no control over when that quest started, and I didn't have the means of actually finishing it until now. Ugh. Maddening. Oh well. Uh, what else do we have to do? Um, we might actually be able to finish the, the fairy arc. I think that's the end. Yeah, we might as well. We started it, so. And we just had, because the the whole dream sequence with Pokio has to do with the fairy arc, because it's Escad and, and Dana. Speaking of, there she is. Is this, does this lead it there? Yes, okay. Lovers. We should go, Matilda. Go, go where? To the Mindus ruins for now. You can rest there a while. Then you go to the land of the fairies. The flow of time is different there. Once you arrive, you can prolong your life. Did you see Erwin? Yes, I did. Okay, this isn't the end of the fairy arc. Not quite. Did he say anything? You have to see him, Matilda. Esked can't save you. Only Erwin can. And you're the only one who can stop Erwin. Oh. Has the demon poisoned your mind, Dana? Erwin is mine. Your job here is finished. Oh, Eska, don't say that. Please, Dana, stay by my side. My dude, cool it. It's only a flesh wound. I encourage you to think this over. You, you're the demon here. You said you learned from a wisdom, but that was a lie. Believe what you want. Stus Merle's happy beyond ever. Matilda, stop. You're not strong enough to cast spells. Oh, is that what that was? Okay. Curses, where did they go? How did Erwin just fly in here? Erwin can't fly. Hmm? No, don't go. Erwin, you're alive. I never gave up hope that you survived. Matilda, you haven't changed at all. You're a terrible liar, Erwin. Look at me. The last ten years have turned me into a wrinkly grandma. You look a little different. I've grown quite pessimistic too. But look at you. I never knew that demons aged. 
in the land of fairies, one's thoughts may easily become reality. You can form your own appearance just by imagining it. Is that why you want to take me there? That is one of the reasons, yes. The fairies will never accept me. They will accept whatever I tell them to accept. Just like you accept the rulers, the rules of heartless humans without question. Matilda, you are a part of this world, are you not? But you were born simply to tread the path that others have made for you? I know what you're trying to say, Erwin, but we don't always have a choice. The only choice I have is to be free. We won't let you interfere. Oh, God. Inside the structure. Come on, Zilla. Let's fight this the mummy monkey. Ape mummy. Okay. Ow. He suplexed me. He's got wrestling moves. Rotten meat. Although I think I think Zilla might have been the one to to suplex him. Get the experience. Come on! Stupid lizard. Oh no, a chess piece. Whatever will we, it's dead. Always just have gone down there? No, that's sealed. Okay. Oh boy, I don't remember how to get to the big zone. That's not that way. And everybody loves the jungle. You're the keys to the gates, I know. Wait, that locks me in. I can't do that. I have to go this way. Those flowerlings move these gates, so now I can get down this way. Uh, Niccolo? <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Hello there. I'm the wandering merchant Niccolo, peddler of smiles. You look worried, like you're in a hurry, but you're terribly lost. I'll leave in good hands now. <laughs> I'll guide you to the Tower of Winds for only 500 lucre. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, probably. You sure know how to get the most bang for your buck. We're here. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Niccolo. Niccolo, the last thing that we did for you was you're like you're like nobility in Geo now. You own like a giant mansion because we gave it to, we like scammed it out of someone the last time we teamed up together. You're nothing but a demon, Dana. Just like him. Don't be such a fool. Demon, fairy, or human. What does it matter? Join Dana, or join Escat. Hmm. Come on, Dana. Let's, let's wreck this nerd. Get away. He dodges to the side at the last second. Loser. Stop it. Yeah, get him, Zilla. Come 
want to finish him with a Lancer. Yeah. Take that, you, you anime nerd. Matilda. Dana. Where's Erwin? We must get you to the land of fairies. I'm not going. What? But why? Where did Erwin go? Thank you for your concern, Dana. I feel like my youth has returned. Just seeing Erwin was enough. How could that be enough? Tell me what happened. You're in love with him, aren't you? Yes, I am. Then go to the land of fairies with him. Don't die like this. Without you, Erwin will bring this world to ruin. Dana, Erwin and I do not intrude on each other's freedoms. If he decides to destroy this world, I must accept that. You're forgetting all the others who will... Oh, that's Dana. <laughs> You're forgetting all the others who will die too. What about their lives? What about their freedom? Dana, believe in me and believe in yourself. Nothing good ever comes from hiding the truth. We must do what we believe in. That's the only way. Matilda. I only want you two to be happy in the land of fairies. Can't you understand that? I do understand, Dana. But I decide what brings me happiness. You must also decide what makes you happy. My happiness comes from making others happy. Is that so wrong? But if we both thought like that, neither of us would ever be happy. So what's Erwin going to do now? He said he's going to try to destroy this world. Destroy the world? Oh, come on, Erwin. The goddess created all life. Our will is her will. Well, I should return to Gato now. So this is what the Mana Goddess has decided. Why does it have to be this way? Starcross Lovers. The end. Time to go home. Oh, Dana, I didn't even know you were still with me. Well, I hope to see you again. Okay, bye. I didn't know that she had teamed up with me. Hey, Cactus. I beat up an anime nerd. There's a clock in the background with no hands on it. How weird. that one. Alright, so I think I think our next step is going to be in the underworld. We did place it today. It would seem a shame not to go and check it out. Spooky. I'll just gonna go ahead and save here, just in case. Warrior, I shall test your strength. Whoa, the fallen emperor. I don't remember if we have met this character or not, but this is Lark. Have you awakened? I am Lark. 
Dragoon of Draconis. Dra what now? A dragoon, a knight who serves a dragon. I see. If you want to know more, come with me to the depths of this place. Alright. We shall descend into the belly of the earth. Go at your own pace and I shall follow. Alright, so we got Lark on our team. I like Lark. He's level 23. Dang. Dexterity. I have a 42 dexterity. Holy jeez. Uh, <laughs> I, love, I love this little sad face right here. Look at this guy. Oh. So many faces on the walls. So many unhappy souls in the underworld. Go figure. Hey, newly dead. Watch out for that guy. <laughs> Where's Shadowlay? Shadowlays? Your shadows. The world shadows. The underworld shadows. Huh? What's on your mind? What's a shadow? Shadowle. We're like shadows. Shadows of everything. You'll be one of us soon enough. All right. Let's move on. Oh, creepy dolls. Yeah. Get him, Zilla. Burn and hate the countryside. We got Hollywood, baby. And some odd meat. There's probably some odd meat somewhere in Hollywood. I love I love this little black this little black guy. I don't know what he, he is, but he's like a he's like an unknown from Pokemon. It's cool. Some sort of sprite. Perhaps. Down the stairs. Uh, left. Hmm. I suppose we had better see Old Bone. Well, who now? Could you give me a direction, Mark? Is it in here? You can go on if you wish, but no door will open for you. You must report to Oban first, or you will be unable to get around. Oban's chambers are near here. He is a wisdom and a custodian of departed souls. He keeps the dead from getting out of hand. Hmm. Yes, okay, thanks. Understand. Okay, can you please tell me where he is, maybe? Oh, hi. Olbon's office. So Olbon is one of the seven wisdoms. He's kind of weird. I am Olbon, Keeper of the Underworld. Mark, Dragoon of Draconis. Uh. Why do you always bother me with uninvited guests? They all become Shadowlades, you know. As a dragoon, I merely follow the will of my master. Hmm. This time you've brought me quite a lively one. So will Draconis' evil plan succeed now? I would love to help out, if the right position opened up. If you mean what you say, then give permission to receive the baptism of flame. But if those words were meant to insult my master... Permission granted. She may receive the baptism of flame. A shadow will guide you. Okay. 
The underworld is a vast place, but I can help you get around. Where to? Take me to the baptismal chamber. Once the baptism is done, closed doors will open. Ask the shadow. Shadow lays in the chamber to perform the ritual. I keep wanting to call them shadow lades. We have permission. Perform the baptism of flame. Here you go, Daddy O. Oh God. Now you can go to the bottom levels. Let us go. My master awaits. And let us go. Right. That was Olbon's office, I'm pretty sure. That's just a treasure chest. Yoink. What? Oh, right. I, I may be stuck down here, but I'll never give up hope. I remember you. You got murdered by the jewel thief. You're a Jumian, and you had your core ripped out. It's horrifying. That was definitely Olbon's office. Aha, third level. Hit him with the twister. A little late on the draw there, Zilla. But I appreciate the effort. Oh, who is this guy? This nightman. He's so cool. Oh wow, Lark just murdered him. Jeez. shall see if you are worthy enough to serve my master. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I'm like... level a billion. I can handle it. Oh. I was expecting to fight a dragon, not a ghost. Okay. Really? Nobody attacked? <laughs> My pet just continues to be owned. Good one, Mark. You're real help you're really helping out here. Trial. Oh no. It's special move. Ow. Wait, how did Lark not get hit by that? Oh god. Zilla. I'm so sorry. God, this is annoying. Right. 
and it just immediately disappears. All right. Used. God, no! Controls. You're not getting away this time. Please, Zilla, get the experience. For the love of God, thank you. You are useless. Incredible. My master will be most pleased. Pulpit of eternal flame. The master approaches. Be ready to receive him. Lord Draconis. What? <laughs> Not who I was expecting. So, Lark, you finally found someone capable of defeating Hitodama. Yes, my lord. Forgive me, great warrior. I am not one for pleasantries. My name is Draconis. I summoned you here for a reason. I want you to return the magical powers that were stolen from me by three dragons. Why? Long ago, before I was cast down here, I was the emperor of dragons. But three of my jealous kin stole my powers. I have wandered in the underworld in this weakened form ever since. Long have I awaited the arrival of one strong enough to avenge me. The Master asks that you defeat the three dragons who wronged him. You have no choice but to cooperate. You see, if you let yourself remain as a half-spirit, you will eventually turn to nothingness. I could not stand letting so capable a warrior fade away. If you defeat the three dragons, I will return you to your previous form. I mean, I guess. I am indebted to you, mighty warrior. The master told me to give you a gift as a proof of our contract. I hope you are ready. We are off to hunt the dragons of knowledge. They think they keep order in the world, but we need not be subjected to their rule. If what I am doing does not sit well with you, you are free to do as you will. But do not forget, this is an important opportunity to test your powers. There's Lark. I mean, sure, we can go hunt dragons, but I gotta go talk to my cactus first. Is Lark still with me? Yes, he is. Sorry, Lark, you gotta go home. Okay, bye. You cannot escape your destiny. Hey, bud. I went to the underworld. Down to underworld. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, we probably have produce. That's ready. Let's go harvest. Give me that citrus squid. Oh. And the spiny carrot. I... I can't think of this as anything like this texture of the spiny carrot reminds me of candied peanuts. And I just imagine that, like a carrot with that candy coating on it. It would probably be disgusting, but... That's what I imagine that would taste like. Alright, Zilla, I gotta feed you something. Uh, I don't remember what does anything. I'm gonna look it up. Wait, no. <laughs> I left.
Gotta open the encyclopedia. Take a look at the produce. Uh, Whale of Matos. What do those give? Magic Con Charm. No. I fed him a bumpkin. Okay, bumpkin is pretty good. That's power and dex. Citrus Grid? Okay. Uh, what do the lily pods do? Plus dex and con, minus magic. That might be good. Heart Mint. Increases charm. What do the Cabadillos do? Fence and Mind. That might be good. Yeah. There's so many, like, systems within systems in this game. It's wild. Okay, I'm gonna give you a Cabadillo. Uh, lily pods. And... That bumpkin was good. Yeah. Trying to increase his, like, defense and power and dex as much as possible. Turn him into a big, strong boy. Look at that constitution. He's got a really high mind, too. Defense against status effects. Oh, well, that's pretty good. So high constitution and... High mind is probably the main things, and then power. Power, I guess power and dex is good. And defense. Yeah. I'm just trying not to boost his magic as much as possible. Because I feel like it's a bit of a waste for a character like this. Or for a pet like that, I should say. Okay. Now it's finally time for me to deal with the NPCs that were giving me the most confusion possible the last time I streamed. Oh. And there he goes again. Diddles had it. Capello, what's up? What's gotten into him this time? Oh well, it's none of my business. Really? Nope. I don't care. Oh, oh okay. I think I can just go back. Okay, no. I do have to go somewhere else first. Uh, exit the world map. Gotta go home first. So I can actually check on my produce while I was here. I entered a, a level a couple times, so this should be... Yeah. Two more cabadillos. Ready to go. Yuck. What's up? I wonder if he's not giving me seeds because I keep only, like, half-harvesting things without talking to him? 
I'll look, we'll go with long seeds and small seeds. Long and small, baby. That's that's the way I like it. Uh, let's go back to the moon. Oh. Well, that ain't right. I guess. Let's also appreciate how horrifying the Skull Lantern is for a second. I have no idea what region that item even makes. Can't remember. I've, I know I've done that quest before, so it's... It's somewhere that I've been, but... Oh, diddle. Why does he always have to do this to me? I know, I know, I'll go look for him. Hey, Diddle. Uh, hey, Diddle. Behind you, buddy. Diddle. Hey, Diddle. Thankfully, we just met those little creatures, so we know exactly where they are. It's time to take another trip to the Underworld. Might actually be able to pick up Lark on our way here, too. No, nope, maybe not. Settle! Bella, I can't go on. I've had it. Wait a minute. What do you mean you've had it? He's had it with life, pal. He's with us now. No, Diddle, come back. You're coming too. Another one. You're going straight to the bottom. Well, this is the bottom of the underworld. Welcome to the underworld. They say the dead come here to rest, but it's really meant for souls who still cling to life. As long as you still feel happiness or sorrow, you must avoid the shadow of shadowlays. If they sense emotions, they will try to drag you to the depths of this place. Okay, so supposedly I am not supposed to talk to Pokiel or I may fail this mission, so. Oh god, I have to actually dodge these guys. 2.5D. Ow. Hitboxes. Is this a chimera beast? That thing looked a lot scarier than it was. got attacked by a chimera beast that had like no health and then we get attacked by these guys who have two of these guys who have a ton of health. A weird game. Alright. Another level for me. 
I don't even know where I am as far as levels go now. I'm like 30, 30 something. Got to be like approaching 35. Let's see. I'm only level 32. Huh. Okay. Thought I was higher than that. Oh god. Oh god, no. What? He was... Ugh. He was still there. He was just invisible. Woof. Come on. Although I think every time I touch one of them, there are fewer of them. I gotta fight the Chimera Beast again. Alright, Chimera Beast is dead. Oh, I hope this one mission isn't gonna take that long. juicy experience, or walk away. That's fine, too. Wizards. What are these? Kid Dragon. Adorable. Wow, they get a lot of experience. Dang. Get the experience. Yeah. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay. I don't like this. Can't tell where this little sucker is. Wasn't paying attention to this side of it. Ugh, okay. <laughs> My guess was correct. Come on, Diddle, let's go back to the surface. I miss the sun. No. Nothing is fun out there. You always have fun, and people have fun watching you. I don't. <laughs> You're sounding like a good Chatelet to be. I don't always smile because I'm having fun, you know. Then why do you always have a smile on your face? That's... That's for me to decide. You just say things without even thinking. You've got that wrong, Diddle. Stop it. Why are you smiling again? Well, this is kind of funny. Nothing's funny. There's nothing good about life. You get hurt, have fights, and there are too many goodbyes. Watching your shows doesn't make anything better. And I don't like it when people laugh while you juggle. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I hear you, Diddle. This world is full of boring stuff and nasty things, but I still like living here. Why don't you... Why don't you come back up once I make the world a better place? So, take care until then, I guess. I'll be waiting for you up top. Ha. You can't go back after we've taken you in. Once you become a Chatelet, you can never return to your original form. Capella. I won't turn into a Chatelet. I'll just stay like this, so don't worry about me. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's not going to turn into a Chatelet. Yeah, right. Are we ever going to have fun with this one? Come on, Diddle. Say goodbye to those Chatelets. 
If you come with me now, I promise I won't laugh or even smile. Diddle, was it? I'll let you in on a secret. All you need to do is run. If you make it up there, you'll be free from us. But if you don't make it, then the monster is going to gobble you up. Of course, no one has ever made it out alive before. Oh. <laughs> I was expecting, like, this big boss fight, and it's just... Is this an ape mummy? We literally just fought one of these things like a minute ago. I guess it has more health. But it's still very underwhelming. Well. They can still suplex me. Oh, jeez, that did a lot of damage. Holy balls! How did I get down to 60% health already? Jeez. I also do a ton of damage. Get him with my harp. Come here, Zilla. Yeah. Is Diddle? Does oh God? I don't understand what he is. Hey, welcome back. Diddle almost went back to get you. I should have trusted you like I do. <laughs> hey, Capella. Can we stay and watch the stars a little while longer? Okay, but just a little. How come? Because I'm so happy. If we stay too long, I might smile, and then I'd break my promise. It's okay, Capaldi. You can smile. Stars spin as they fall when you're trying to catch your breath. What's that supposed to mean? It's the secret. <laughs> you are one strange guy. Diddle is so weird. Hey, little cactus. I did another thing. I did another adventure with Diddle and Capella. Out of the way, bud. What? Shadowlebes. Oh, is, I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it's, it's pronounced Shadowleby. Or what? No. What? What is this cactus trying to say? Shadowlebes? Shadowlebes nuts. That's what he's gonna write in his journey, his journal. Just. <laughs> I would love it if I opened up his journal and it just said Shadowly Bees Shadowly Bees Nuts. Oh god. Diddle's had it. What's the difference between people who like doing the same thing every day and the ones who don't? I like being a cactus every day, but maybe I'm not supposed to. Did I get that right? No, you didn't. What else what did we do? We did Fallen Emperor. A dog-faced dragoon came out and took my master downstairs when my master touched a tombstone. How am I supposed to picture this? It's really tough. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, it upsets me that there's just going to be blank entries.
Okay. Um, let's see. Take me on a search for the wisdoms. Let's go. Come on, buck. Let's go talk to the seven wisdoms. To make it a lot less painful, I'm going to turn off enemy encounters. <laughs> this isn't a combat thing, it's just running around and talking to people, so it's... It would just be more of a hassle than anything else, so... Boink! Believe we want to go this way. Hey, bud. Normally we would we would fight that bird, but enemy encounters are turned off. Hey, it's Gaia. Hey, Gaia. I have a kid here who wants to see you. Hello. What do you wish to? I'm Bud. I'm traveling the world listening to the wisdom so I can become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. Long, long ago, there lived a great mage named Halcyon. His name was largely been forgotten, but he was much greater than me in many ways. Thanks, Gaia. You are welcome to return any time. Okay, bye. Hey, bird. Unfortunately, we can't boink our way back to the entrance, so we gotta... This is the reason why I turned encounters off. Because there's at least, like, one or two enemy encounters on every one of these screens. Almost every, every screen. And it's just... I'm at such a high level already that it's not worth it for me. So we're just gonna we're gonna rush through it. Okay, we're on highway at Lake Kilna. Is the other one that we haven't spoken to? I think I'm pretty sure because we started this quest already, and I'm pretty sure that we we actually took Bud to meet one of them already, one of the Seven Wisdoms, but I don't remember who it was. A duck. Ma'am, my name is Captain Day. It's my duty to serve a hero. Let me serve you, ma'am. Sorry. That is a duck in a combat helmet. I think normally you would have to fight him. Can I talk to you? No, okay. So he was just an NPC, then. Interesting. That is also an enemy type. The, the duck in a combat helmet.
I don't really have a good idea of where I'm going. Eastern Shore. Okay, I'm getting closer. Get my way. Weird eyeballs. Okay, there's a ferry. Fairies mean I'm close. That's that's a yak. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Hey, it's Tote. Hey, Tote. Hi, bud. I'm traveling the world, listening to the wisdom, so I can become a great wizard. Hello, youngin. You don't need to listen to the wisdoms to become a great mage. The grass, water, rocks, and wind. Just listen to what they say. Thanks, Tote. Nothing ever changes if all, if all you do is think. But positive thinking makes everything seem better. Isn't that interesting? I like Tote. Tote and Pokiel are probably my favorite of the seven wisdoms. Think. Will one of you teleport me back to the entrance? Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Okay, they just complained because I killed their master. I mean, they're not wrong. Yeah, yeah. Humans frighten me. Me too. I, nope. That's a dead end. <laughs> I kept both a bud and Zilla had to go rub themselves up against the wall for a second to make sure. right path. I think, yes. Look at that duck go. Might kill my entrance. Yes. Get out of here. Uh, oh no. Okay. Now we've got to go back to the jungle. Although this might start a different quest. I feel like there was a reason I was avoiding the jungle in single player. Nope. You're there. Take me to the forest ruins. Hey, it's Rosiodi. Right. I got this this kid wants to talk to you. I'm Bud. I'm traveling the world listening to the wisdom so I can become a great wizard. Hello, Bud. The air is filled with mana. Empty your heart of thought and feel the mana flowing through you. Thanks, Rosiodi. This is my forest. You may take or use anything you need. Yep. Okay, bye. I have no idea how to get out of here again. So I'm just gonna keep running from screen to screen until I find something. Western jungle. Oh, I think this might actually be the right. Oh, this is the forest of the fairies. I don't think this is where I wanna be. Although, maybe? Oh, nope. 
Okay, there's some zombies here. Pay no attention to the zombies. Or that thing. What? This is not where I want it to be. I don't. I don't need more monsters. This is not at all where I needed to be. Jungle, let's go south. South again. Greenwood Gardens. What? Excuse me? I have encounters turned off. How did I get attacked? Wow, Bud has got a lot of health. I guess all the NPCs, like, kind of stay... They... They don't keep the same level that you are, but they kind of... keep up a little bit. Southern jungle. Okay, there's the fairies. Jungle entrance. Get me out of here. Wait, the the quest is called the Seven Wisdoms, but I I only have to talk to six of them? Pokio. Okay, so we should have already done Pokio. Okay, so we gotta go to the underworld. We gotta go take him to, to Olbon. I have directions for this one because the underworld is a very confusing area. Hey, Lark. I... Out of my way. Shadow Lees, I guess is what they're called. Nope. I think I might remember how to get there. I managed to find my way there with Lark before. Because it was down this way. Yeah. Isn't this it? No, but that's treasure. I'll take it. I think I have to go down. Oh no, here it is. This is Old Bone's office. Yeah, it's Old Bone. Hey, Old Bone. Yeah, yeah, Bud's trying to make, be a good wizard. Hello, Bud. Know that you can do anything you wish. And never forget that you are a human being, just like any other. Thanks, Old Bone. I am Old Bone, Keeper of the Underworld. Wait, Bud is a human being? <laughs> What's with the ears? I do not... I don't know if I, uh, if I buy that one. Bud is clearly some sort of elf... thing. With those ears and pink hair.
He looks like Link from <laughs> Link to the Past. He's got the elf ears and pink hair. Well. Can you take me out? Yes. Out of the way, Lark. I got this kid with me. We must go to the grottos. To Gato Grottos. And the last, yeah, the last wisdom, the one I hate. I hate his design so much. He's so weird. This is Selva. How about I'm driving a little bit Hello, bud. Children are always on the fringes of history's tumult. They have plenty of ideas on how to make up for the adults' mistakes. Your childhood memories will serve you throughout your career as a sorcerer. Thanks, Selva. Do not fear the future. The flow of time is about to change its way. People will know freedom. Why are you so weird? Why are you a cloud? He's, he's like a clown cloud. A clown. C-L-O-U-N. <laughs> That's Clune. I don't know. Trying to pretend like this makes any sense. Yeah. I got to talk to all six wisdoms. Oh, there's... Okay, there's six wisdoms. The pursuit of wisdoms. I thought it was seven wisdoms for some reason. Oh, and I got the achievement for completing both Bud and Lisa's quests. The plucky sorceresses. So let's go talk our cactus. Hey, bud. Take me with you. I've got some wicked spells I want to try out. No. <laughs> got something against us kids or what? I got nothing against kids. Seventh one is girl. I was the seventh wisdom. It all makes sense now. But you're right. Uh, pursuit of wisdoms. Boom. The little boy got to find six of the seven wisdoms. But there are only six wisdoms? Did they pick that name because it sounds good? Maybe they can't do math. Okay, so there are seven wisdoms. I was right. This game is weird. Anyway. It is time. Ugh, time for me to stretch. But also time for me to exit. Another day of mana. I have to feed my cats. It is now... Well, it's late for them now. It is past their dinner time. Uh-oh. I said dinner time and Toby heard me, so now he's... 
<laughs> he, has, he has stood up. He has emerged and he is ready. And it is right on time for Art Soup. So yes, that's going to be a stream for today. I'll have a schedule up a bit later tonight. Tomorrow will be more Lego with myself and Wordsy, providing nothing else changes. Um, and then I might be starting some new stuff later in the week. And I might... And eh, we'll see what happens from there. Not right now, Toby. Calm yourself. You just leapt onto my desk. In any event. Art Soup is just getting started. Literally just getting started. So we're going to hop over there to B Drops. And uh, check that out. So yeah. I will have a schedule up later tonight, providing that Twitter is working. It has been broken all day for me, so we'll we'll see. But if nothing else, I'll, it'll be posted in my Discord. So thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time. Have a good night.